Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. The name is Palisa M and welcome to my skin cycling video. I'm showing you the routine that I've been using to get my skin clear from this hormonal acne and how I am dealing with the scarring. Skin cycling is all about taking a cyclical approach to your facial skincare routine. Using specific products on different days regenerates the skin and improves skin quality. This four night cycle alternates different products and I'm going to show you how. So this is night one and night one involves exfoliation. I am a chemical exfoliant kind of girl. First things first, I will wash my hands, remove my eyelashes because I was wearing makeup on this day. And then I am going to go in with the Body Shop Chamomile Cleansing Balm. Just take a bit of that and let it melt down in the palms of my hand, applying it to my face. This is how I like to remove my makeup. So this is the first step of double cleansing. Then I'm taking these makeup remover pads that I got from Clicks. If you don't like removing your oil-based um, cleanser with water, these pads are really, really great. Just be sure to change them and get new ones as often as you can because they can harbor germs and debris. So that's makeup off. Today's cleanser is the Eucerin Dermo Purifier Cleanser. I showed you guys this a few months ago and I've been using it alternating with my other cleansers. I do like this cleanser. It's been working out quite good for my skin. And what I like to do is I will rub my cleanser all over my skin for 60 seconds. So I cleanse my face for 60 seconds. Reason being is that when I do the 60 seconds cleansing method, it helps remove um, like any texture or bumps that I have on my skin. It also helps my enlarged pores kind of seem smaller and it gives my skin a very smooth appearance. So that is why I do the 60 seconds method. I've been doing this for years and I've never looked back since I started. So I am fast forwarding this bit because I'm just going in with my cleanser again. I like cleansing my face with whatever cleanser I'm using on that day twice. And this is what my skin looks like. Today's toner is the Body Shop Tea Tree Skin Mattifying um, Toner. Be sure to shake it. Make sure all the white powder has been removed from the bottom of the bottle before you put it on a cotton pad. And I'm just going in circular motions and applying this toner to my face. This toner is really good, especially when I have active acne. And then the exfoliating um, product we're using is the Skin Functional Exfoliating Facial One. It is a 10% lactic acid. And I just apply drops of this on my face and then I rub it in. This lactic acid has been amazing. Normally I use a lactic acid toner, but I tried this one and my skin always wake up feeling so much softer in the mornings and it has this radiant glow to it. So this product is really, really amazing. Now I know some people like to put on hydration things and whatnot after this, but I don't. I just put on this exfoliating facial because it's kind of hydrating for my skin. Like it doesn't make my skin dry. That's what my skin looks like and I'm off to bed and that is night one. Night two is retinal night. Now, please excuse the lighting. It's that phenomenon in South Africa that we call load shedding. Today's cleanser is a skin functional 
um, salicylic acid cleanser this cleanser is very gentle but it is very good for people with acne prone skin because salicylic acid is the best for acne prone skin it helps to unclog the pores taking out all the dirt and debris that causes the acne breakouts and you can use this cleanser daily because it's that gentle so i'm just rubbing it in for 60 seconds rinsing it off and then i'm going to repeat this step again So once that is done, this is what my skin looks like clear. You can see the health of my skin is sort of improving. Please note this was shot over a space of time. So today's toner is the Nature's Nourishment Rose Water and Glycerine. I just spray that onto a cotton pad and I will use circular motions to distribute all that product onto my skin. I love this one because it gives my skin this youthful glow, you know and it's very affordable as well so it's a good one i'm using the standard beauty 0.3 percent retinol because i've only just recently introduced my skin to retinol so i'm starting with the lower dose you apply for me it's three drops you can do um like five drops for, for me three drops is enough and i just rub that into my face Retinol helps speed up your skin cell turnover, meaning it helps your skin rid of imperfections faster and it helps regenerating new skin. It helps with hyperpigmentation and dark spots as well. If you are in your 30s, I highly recommend that you add in retinol. It's going to give your skin this youthful, supple look. And after the retinol, I'm going in with my ceramide this is one from um fundamental beauties it is a ceramide cream i'm applying that and then i'm using my standard beauty squoil in just like seal in all of that goodness it's night time i like to slather my skin this is my gentle way of slathering without using like vaseline or anything occlusive and you can already see my skin is dewy my skin looks radiant like i'm ready for bed and tomorrow it's gonna look even better So night number three and four are recovery, meaning I will not be using any active ingredients. Um, we did exfoliation on night one. We did a retinol on night two. So night three and four are rest days for the skin, giving my skin a break from the active ingredients. And this routine has been very effective for me. Today I'm using the Garnier um, micellar water to this is the first step of makeup removal on this day and you don't have to have as many products as i do i think i'm just a skincare enthusiast and i like to buy products and try them out so i just have a lot of products and i will use different products on different nights this micellar water is really really good like i got a small bottle and when that bottle finished, I went and I got the big one because I was really, really enjoying it. Thank you, Sis B, for putting me onto this micellar water. It is amazing. So my balm was finished, but I did get the Body Shop Chamomile um, Cleansing Oil. And I'm just going to put that onto my skin to remove any excess traces or the hidden traces of makeup before I actually go in and cleanse my skin. 
again with that makeup removing pad i like to run mine in warm water that just helps remove more makeup and it's more effective that way not hot water warm water because i don't want to scorch my skin today's cleanser is the body shop tea tree facial cleanser this is an og if you've been following me you'll know this has been my cleanser for the longest time and i just have to have to have to have this in my routine otherwise it doesn't make sense so i'm just rubbing that in for 60 seconds please note how i'm focusing on my cheeks my acne um is cleared i don't really have a lot of um active spots but on my cheeks i could feel so i focus on my cheekbones and also on my forehead because as you can see that is where like my marks are this is what my skin looks like after cleansing my face twice and then i'm going to go in with a toner I didn't show you guys the toner for this day, but I can't remember what I used. It's either I used one of my hydrating toners or I used the Body Shop one. I don't know what happened where that clip is, but I just use any regular, regular old toner. Um, I prefer in Recovery Nights to use a hydrating toner like the Boabab hydrating toner. Then I'm going in with this Nivea Luminance 360 Dark Mark Serum. Sis B put me on this one again and I'm not gonna lie to you, this thing has been helping me lighten my dark spots. Like you put it on before any other product. This is the first serum I will put on. Um, it promises to lighten your dark spots in four weeks. I've been using it for a while and honestly, it has really helped me lighten my marks. Then I'm going in with the Standard Beauty 10% um, niacinamides and 1% zinc serum I love this baby helps my skin feel healed like if I have any irritation or anything but also it makes my skin look poreless so you will not see my pores when I have this on and like I just love it like it feels really good on the skin I'm going in with the Skin Functional Dark Mark Management. This is essentially Alpha Abertin with 2% Hyper Bright Complex. Love this one. It is a game changer. I think I'm falling in love with the Skin Functional products. I don't know why. And then I'm going in with my Fundamental Ceramide Cream. This cream is so good. Like I use this cream at night. Even on the days where I don't use actives because it just helps my skin, you know, in its resting days, restoring the skin barrier. Because if your skin barrier is compromised, you're going to break out more, you're going to get more hyperpigmentation. So it's very important to make sure that your skin barrier is healthy. Then I'm sealing all of that goodness in with my standard beauty um squalene. i love this oil so much i know a lot of people think oils are bad for acne prone people but this one is light and it does not clog your pores at all it's very lightweight and it gives my skin such a good glow so that is the routine for four days i am going to be showing you guys um what my skin looks like now Please let me know in the comment section if you would like to see my morning skincare routine and I will be sure to keep giving you updates of my skin and sharing any new products that I add into my routine. Thank you so much for watching my video. Don't forget to comment, like, share and subscribe. I will see you in my next one.